this PowerPoint to talk about glycolysis, which is the first stage of aerobic respiration, and it also takes place in anaerobic respiration. It occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell, and it can be divided into two steps. The first step is energy requiring. So ATP comes in and it energizes glucose. Um, the rest of glycolysis is energy releasing. So um, glucose is broken down through a series of steps and energy is released, creating more ATP and also some NADH. Okay, so here we see the energy requiring steps. Um, we have six carbon glucose, which comes in to the cytoplasm. It combines with two ATP, um, and you can see that two phosphates are added on either end of the glucose molecule. As the ATP breaks down, it creates two ADP molecules, adenosine diphosphate, um, and this six carbon molecule with the two phosphates is relatively unstable. So it breaks apart very readily and it forms two molecules called PGALs, um, which is a three carbon molecule with a phosphate attached to it. So this is the energy requiring ATP comes in and energizes the glucose and it breaks down into two three carbon PGALs. Um, now we have the energy releasing steps. An additional phosphate adds to the other end. This increases the stability of the molecule. So now we have a three carbon molecule with a phosphate on either end. NAD plus comes in, it grabs a hydrogen forming NADH, and that happens to both molecules. And then two ADP come in and grab the phosphate. So one phosphate goes to one ADP, second phosphate goes to a second ADP, third phosphate goes to a third ADP, and the fourth phosphate goes to the last ADP. So we make a total of four ATP molecules, and that's good because that's the purpose of respiration in general, is to make lots of ATP. So at the end of all of this, we end up with two three carbon molecules, which are called pyruvate. So in review, glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm. Our substrate is glucose, a six carbon molecule, and our end product is two three carbon pyruvate molecules. We make a total of four ATP, but we say it's really only a net of two ATP because two of the ATP that we create in the second part of glycolysis go back and replace the two ATP that initially energized the glucose molecule. So we say we have two net or two new ATP. And those ATP can be used by the cell immediately for um, energy reactions. We also make two NADH. And the NADH are going to shuttle the hydrogen and the electrons to the electron transport chain in stage three of respiration.